Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for March 20th to the 26th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you would like a personal room with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. So today we're gonna to talk about your love, your day-to-day, -day, your love interest feelings, the block delays and challenges, and then the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below, you can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so, and let me move this out of the way as well here. What's going on with my Cancer's Romantic Love Life for the week of March 20th to the 26th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that's card deck one. What's gonna happen with my Cancer's Romantic Love Life for March 20th to the 26th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that's card deck two. What's gonna happen my Cancer's Romantic Love Life for March 20th to the 26th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Cancer, that's card deck three. Let's put this aside for now and let's lay down your cards. We're gonna first start off with the day to day, okay? All right, so we got the King of Swords energy. We got the Four of Pentacles energy. We have the Chariot card energy. We have the Six of Pentacles energy. We have the Devil card energy. We have the High Priestess card energy. And we have the Five of Pentacles energy. So let's take a look at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy here, okay? All right, so let's take a look at this. So it looks like there's some indecisions happening here for the overall energy. It's like somebody really wants to reach out to you. That's what I feel like here. But they're concerned that you're not going to be responsive to them. There is love here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. They really feel like there is love here and they want clarity here. They want some answers about the situation. This person is waiting for, it looks like, the right time here with the Wheel of Fortune card energy to make a sudden move here and take an action towards you with the Knight of Swords energy, okay? So going forward on this, it seems like your person seems indecisive here. They feel like there is love here with the King of Cups energy. They want clarity of whether or not you feel the same, I feel like, and they are trying to wait for the right time here. I feel like they're just kind of like, I feel like they're tuning into their intuition, honestly. Uh, they're trying to see, like, look for the signs here. That's what I feel like. Whether that person's intuitive or not, but I feel like this person wants to see if there's signs that they know that it's the right time to reach out because it looks like they want to take an action here with the Knight of Swords energy. Okay, so let's keep going here. Let's see how this is going to play out in your reading. Okay, so we can see that the first card, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Let's see if they can see any other signs here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I, I feel like there is there's somebody who's going to say and do all the right things. You can see this person is holding flowers. I feel like they're looking to the past and they're like, all right, based on my life experiences, I want to make the best decision. Even if I got to play politics here and I got to say and do the right things here, I'm just going to hold my tongue and I'm just going to make sure that I say the best things here. I want to come with appreciation. I want to come with uh, the sense of, you know, clarity here with the King of Swords energy. Because Kings, they speak a truth. They speak it from a place of knowledge and a place of knowing. So there is a, there's someone who's going to take a leadership role and speak a truth King of Swords energy. And they're going to do it in a very political way. They're going to say and do all the right things here. Because why? This person wants to hold on to you for Pentacles energy. They look at you. They really appreciate you. They want to be around here. They have strong desires for you with the chariot card energy to hold you in their arms. We see that here, right? They, they were like, all right, I have to, I'll do and say what I have to say because I really want to be with them. I want to hold them in my arms and I want to be there for them. So, and by the way, this is March 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, and 26th. We see the coffin card energy. We see the tree card energy and we see the fish card energy. See, the reason why this person is doing this is because it's something that had ended, stopped, or completed, or they want to take a break from the arguments and the fights. 
they're ready for things to heal here. They're ready for things to grow here with the tree card energy. They really want to hold on to you. There is a lot of emotions here with the fish card energy, a lot of love here on, on the 22nd. And you're going to have an awareness of this with this person's desires. We see eight, I want to put the work or effort into this cancer and I want some kind of change and I've been thinking about you. I've been thinking about the situation. We see money and finance, a healing energy here, and spiritual signs. So some of you guys, this person's also concerned about money and finance for infringing upon the connection, or they really want something of value here with the money card energy. And they, or they don't want money and finance to infringe upon the connection. They're ready to heal this situation, okay? They want something of value here, and they have reflected and they want to heal this connection. You're going to see some spiritual signs here in their emotions, okay? In their desires here on the 22nd. It looks like there's a person that really want this person really wants to take care of you. They want to spend time with you. They want to give you their time. They want to give things to you with the Six of Pentacles energy on the 23rd. I feel like with the Fox card energy coming out that either you guys feel like there's some deception, like they're not really doing things in a balanced way, okay, on the 23rd or they're trying to be strategic about their energy uh, to bring things into balance. Mm -hmm. Because there's a cautiousness here. I don't want to get hurt. I want to make sure it's going to be safe for me to love. And we can see that there is a lot of obsessive energy here. This person cannot stop thinking about you. And there's a strong temptation here, a strong desires here on the 24th. And because of this, you're going to receive some kind of text message, a letter, or document, okay? And then 2 plus 7 is 8 and 9. Something that's going to be something that you want. And we see towards an opportunity. So there's desires, strong desires for this message and this opportunity here coming in on the 24th. So we see here on the 25th, there is something secret, something that's uh, yet to be known with the High Priestess card energy, something that's being veiled around the situation. So let's see what that's about. There's some indecisions that someone's keeping to themselves. Some kind of crossroads here with the uh, crossroads card or this indecision is happening here. And it's like, I want to gain knowledge here. I want to have a knowing about the situation. Or some of you have strong intuition about some decision here that's coming up on the 25th. So I feel like on the 26th, either financially there's going to be some kind of loss here or there's a loss of time or there's some kind of sense of being left out in the cold here or you're going to leave this person out in the cold by the pentacles energy because of trying to be patient or trying to make the best decision here, the wisest decision here with the lilies card energy. Yeah, it looks like you guys are going to want to spend some time alone here on this day. So let's bring this all together, Cancer, because you know I like to be clear cut. So we see money and finance may be affecting the romantic love life and we see unbalanced finances mm -hmm. and we see that there is a want to heal this situation. We're seeing this, there are spiritual signs, but there's defensive energy about, I don't want to get hurt. Mm -hmm. I need to make sure it's safe for me to love. You have this opportunity coming in, you're gaining knowledge here, but you're wanting to spend some time alone to kind of think about things. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's move this out of the way here. All right, there was some kind of ending that happened, some kind of break. You guys took a break, something stopped here. Uh, and now we see that there's gonna be a healing energy in emotions. But then there's still the sense of, are they being honest with me? Or is somebody is being very strategic or manipulative, okay, possibly with the fox card energy, in their text message letter or document, which is leaving you a little bit at a crossroads here. Um, and you're trying to make the best decision with the Lily's card energy. Okay, so let's keep going. We see, I want to make the best decision, right? I'm going to say and do all the right things because I want to hold on to you. I have strong desires for you. I want to bring things into balance. You're a strong temptation, a strong desire for you. I'm obsessing about you. And the secret, I want to keep things secret or I need to gain some knowledge. So I'm going to leave you out in the cold for now. Um, I'm going to, um, you know, uh, take my losses and just kind of keep going here until I figure this out. Okay, so let's see how your love interest feels about you. Let's see how they feel about you. Okay, we got the full card energy. 
We got the Ace of Wands, okay, okay. And we got the Power card. So this person's like, I wanna take a risk, I wanna take a leap of faith towards you. I feel very really passionate about you, okay? I want an opportunity of passion. And I'm gonna make a power move. I want a sense of control, a sense of order, a sense of routine here in this connection. I have feelings for you and appreciate you. Uh, or for some of you, they wanna give you a gift of a ring, okay, okay. Bouquet card is a gift, ring is, can literally mean ring, okay, with Lenormand. Uh, I wanna take a risk, I want a new beginning. And I wanna be playful here, full card energy. I don't wanna be foolish in my romance. I, I know that there, I feel like there's an opportunity of passion here and I want to give you an invitation for an opportunity of passion, okay? I want to socialize with you, bouquet card energy. I'm very attracted to you and passionate about you. There is this commitment here to gaining some kind of control. I want a commitment with you. I'm surprised about this romance and I want to commit ring card energy. So let's see, reconciliation, being nurturing and supportive, and I want to make the effort. Mm -hmm. So this person wants to gain control. They want to make a power move towards a commitment to make the effort. They feel like you're very nurturing and supportive. They do feel like there's passion here. They want to spend some time with you or they feel very appreciative of you with the bouquet card energy or there's the fact that they, um, this is almost like also like the queen of wands energy. There's a strong attraction here, a luck card. This is also, they can feel that they're very lucky to have you. They want to reconcile this uh, situation and they want to take a risk here towards romance, okay? Okay, Cancer, okay. Let's take a look at the blockage here. The blockage is thinking, contemplating, analyzing about family and how to heal the situation. Yep, something to do with the house could be part of the blockage, okay? Some, some of you may be dealing with a long distance situation, okay? Uh, family could be part of the blockage and challenge in the connection. Okay, four of swords, there's too much planning, too much thinking going on. Okay, so let's keep going here and let's see the overall outcome now. Okay, so we got the six of cups, we got the death card energy, and we have the eight of pentacles energy. I'm reminiscing about the past. I want to reconcile the past in this ending to put the work or effort into this connection, into Pentacles energy. So this person from the past, this some person that you've known before, there has been some kind of ending, they want something to change for a new beginning and they wanna put the work or effort into this. You make them happy, Sun card energy. There could be something to do with another person or this ex-partner, this could be an ex-partner, okay? And they feel like you're the best decision for them. This person wants to reconcile Clover card energy you're gonna gain some kind of knowledge here about, you're gonna gain knowledge. This could be your energy, okay? This could be the love interest energy. So it looks like you're gonna gain knowledge of a reconciliation and uh, this person's um, from the past. There is a happy outcome here with an ex-partner because they want to make the best decision. They want to make the wisest decision. They wanna put the work or effort into this. So let's keep going. There's strong desires here to make a decision to overcome challenges and delays or to cut away these delays and challenges. I'm defeated here. I wanna stand up and fight or walk away. I wanna bring this connection into balance and I've been waiting for this time, this opportunity to do it. I'm trying to be patient here. I have so much chemistry and passion for you and I wanna make a power move. I wanna assert myself. Okay, so this is something you've been waiting for, okay? And I feel like you guys are like, I emotionally I need to make sure that I'm patient. I make, I make sure there's something in balance in the situation. Uh, it seems like this is an abrupt decision because of desires to overcome delays and challenges of this person. So we see something really shocking and surprising can occur because they have regrets here and they want things to turn in their favor, okay? So this person really does want to move forward in the connection. It looks like somebody that you had ended a connection with or they had ended a connection with you, but it seems like they're coming back around here and they wanna reconcile with you. And it's coming as a bit of a shock here and it's kind of making you feel a little bit defeated here. I feel like that's also why you guys are kind of like, I need some time to think about this, you know? I, I'm not sure if I want to move forward with this. That's what I feel like the last couple of days was about there. Cause it's like, you're like waiting and you're kind of delaying things 
and um, you know you're trying to make the best decision for your, yourself because you feel like this person's really making a power move here. Yes, things are aligning in your favor, but you're like, all right, before I put the work or effort into this, I need to just wait here. I need to wait. I'll wait for the right time. Wait for the right opportunity here. Three of Wands energy. Let's go further on this. There is a sense of burdens, responsibility. I really want to contemplate this situation. And this person's like, I want to invest time in this with the Seven of Pentacles energy. I want to spend time with you. I, I, be, I want to be patient. We, we have so much time invested in this with the Seven of Pentacles energy. All right, my beautiful cancers. I know it's a little bit of a cliffhanger here. Um, obviously, I just released the mid-monthly, so if you want more information, you can go check out that reading right now. Also, I have their true feelings for you, which you can go check out right now. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys in another date or two. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. All right, my darlings, I will see you guys in another date or two. Have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you soon.